determine the sum and product of the roots of the quadratic equation. So, may formula tayo para sa sum ng sum of the roots ng quadratic equation. So, ang formula natin ay negative b over a. Ang formula naman ng product ay c over a. x square minus 6x plus 9 equals to 0. So, ano yung a natin dito? a natin is 1. How about yung b? Negative 6. And yung c? c natin ay 9. Substitute na natin siya ay negative Tapos yung B natin ay negative 6. And yung A is 1. Then negative 6. So double negative yan. So yan ay magiging positive 6. So over 1. And 6 divided by 1 is 6. So ang sum natin ay 6. Next yung product. So C over A. So ang C natin ay 9. Then 1. Ang A natin ay 1. So, 9 divided by 1 ay 9. So, ang product natin ay 9. And next, x square plus 6x plus 5. So, sa ano ngayon yung A natin? So, A natin ay 1. B is 6. And C is 5. Okay, solve na natin. So, negative. B, ano yung B natin? 6. And negative 6 over A, A is 1. And negative 6 divided by 1, I, negative 6. How about yung product? Yung C natin ay 5 and 1. A natin is 1. So, yung product natin ay 5. Next, 4 square minus 6x minus 10. So, una, gawin mo natin yung standard form. So, paano? Ililipat natin yung 10 sa kabila. So, na 4x square minus 6x and positive 10 magiging negative 10 equals 0. Okay. So, ano na yung a natin dito? So, a natin ay 4 b is negative 6 and yung c i negative 10. Okay, sum. From, and negative b, negative, negative 6. Divided by a is 4. So, negative 6. Double negative yung 6. So, yan magiging 6 over 4. Or, lowest term natin, 6 over 4. Yan ay magiging 3 over 2. Ano yung 3 over 2? Divide mo sila sa 2. So, 6 divided by 2, 3. 4 divided by 2, 2. So, ang sum nila ay 3 halves. Next, yung product. So, C. Ano yung C natin? Negative 10. Negative 10. Then, yung A is 4. Ano so, yan? Then, lowest term natin. Ang lowest term ng negative 10 over 4 ay, so yung 10, yan ay negative 5 over 2, or negative 5 halves. Ano yung negative 5 halves? Divide mo sila sa 2. So 10 divided by 2, 5, 4 divided by 2, 2. Then huwag kakalimutan yung sign. So ang sum niya ay 3 halves at ang product ay negative 5 halves. 2x minus 5 times 2x plus 1. So, una, gawin mo natin yung standard form. So, ganito, limitin natin yung FOIL method. 2x times x, yan ay 2x square. Then, 2x times 1, positive 2x. Negative 5 times x, negative 5x. And, negative 5 times 1, yan ay negative 5. Equals to 0. Then, 2x. Then, 2x minus 5x, yan ay negative 3x minus 5 equals to 0. So, naka-standard form na siya. So, ano na yung a natin? So, a is 2. b is negative 3. And yung c, negative 5. Okay, then, substitute na natin. So, negative b over a. Negative, ano yung B natin? Negative 3. And yung A is 
2. So, double negative yan. So, yung negative 3 magiging positive 3 and over 2. Next, yung product. So, ano yung product? Ano yung C natin? Negative 5. And yung A is 2. So, ano yung product niya? So, negative 5 over 2. So, ito ang video natin para sa araw na ito. At sana nag-enjoy kayo at may bago kayo natutunan. At huwag kakalimutang mag-like, mag-share, at mag-subscribe. At pindutin na rin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bagong video.